Well, you can link with Peter a karting experience. Wish me luck. What are going peeps? It's a boy, it's a boy. Welcome back to the channel guys. So yo, as you guys can tell, I am currently driving so I'm gonna be focused on the road but just wanna talk to you guys for a bit. Alright, so I'm on my way to Kingston currently. I am going to be getting a special vlog for you guys. Um, he's a very well-known racer in Jamaica who races as Do Do Dover Speedway. He races at Dover Speedway and all that. Um, I, I, you know, I'm honored to be doing this vlog with this person because, you know, he's someone I've been watching racing since I was younger and dreaming about cars and all that stuff. So, none other than Zoom Zoom Ray, you don't know. We're heading to um, his go kart um, facility to see if we can get a little feature and interview with him and just, you know, find out who is Zoom Zoom Ray, where he's coming from, a little of the history. And also probably have a little bit of fun with the carts on the track. So yo, you don't want to miss this one. Don't want me an inch or too long. Look what I go on. Yeah, 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 yeah. So we're at the location, peeps. Yeah, so we're going to... Now I'll give you a few footage of the place, what it looks like and um, just give you a quick rundown so it's basically on the same plot of land as the normal Manly International Airport and this is in Kingston and um, yeah you make a detour at the Petcom gas station and somehow you end up over this side but it's basically a go-kart track and um, I'm going to show you what it looks like in a minute. Look out. So this is what the carts look like. Um, first of all, they're on six. <laughs> Same with racing settings. 
And then you're in your fiberglass seat, lightweight. Right? And then um, basically, you have your steering mechanism and um, your pedals. This left one here would be a brake, this right one would be a gas. And this is our braking mechanism. It's our rotor and our um, these pads are in this thing here. This, I guess this block thing here is a caliper. And then this is the main gear. This would be like um, the, the drivetrain and the gearbox. <laughs> this is the engine so yo that makes up the cart the whole lot of components and then this is the racetrack piece where basically you would go out and um, learn the track get your instructions and then the spectators are way over yonder over there and phase one race yes, so we're learning so about the there's a boy production yeah. yeah and this crew yes chief so there's a boy here yeah man um yeah here yeah mr donald um so what exactly is happening here well at the track or in this container overall overall well they, this is a palisados race track where we, we do kart racing here right from from five year olds all the way up to 65 year old right um we have the road tax challenge class that we race so we are primarily a race track mm -hmm. and we do a little recreational karting and you know the the development trailer is where we are at now right, right this is right. where it starts with the kids five year old to eight year old and then it they matriculate into the other classes right. uh, which bloom that nice flow of racing that you see with the juniors and seniors and all of that stuff. right so you basically groom them from their young into the into the race world and they can yes. start from the go-karts here because a lot of big races started there they all start from karts <laughs> from karts all of them even lewis hamilton now yeah for they, real. he started from karts every all of them schumacher all of them air yeah. Senna. Nicholas Bond yeah Nick, yeah all of them are karts Fraz, who doing rallycross now he's a kart and a dover all of them start from karts right so Top it's a good foundation yeah yeah good I foundation was on. It was on. some so. of them you name it tara sarah uh, mizir you know you can name it all right so those are some of the older ones you know basically yes yeah. that, and that's true and you know the motorsport world it, it's good to have the foundation and you yeah. know to get the foundation to, to push you yes. into the the, the the real world yes so um i guess this is where you keep all the carts and all the mechanism and the parts and repair shop right here that's correct all right that's correct. i'm not sure if you well well it will be my first time basically learning about these so yeah. just a quick review won't take more than five minutes just no. just give me a walk through come now and right. show me what's happening all right well we're in the development trailer uh, right. the 50 cc camp as we call it um this is primarily geared for the five year olds to eight years old no, no, no. Okay. Five to eight, so these are all of the racing cards, or, or some of them. Right. Uh, all of them are not stored here, but these are some that are here that are used for racing. Right. When you race these. So these are five year olds. Then now, on this side of the container, we have what we call the. Big boys. Well, not really big boys, <laughs> then, but we have a uh, minima. As they're dead, right. call me. Which is another class, and we have a micro max. Most of them are micro maxes. The micro maxes are. The ones that step up from the five-year-old class, right? So the, from these, this, yeah, from these up into this class. To this class. So yeah, this is how many CCs? This, this is one twenty-five. One twenty-five. And okay. this, this is a fifty CC. Okay. Excuse me, no. So right. from fifty to one twenty-five, it, it's more than double. Right, more than double. Right, yeah, one and a half. And then, and then you move up the rank from here. From Micromax, then mm -hmm. you go to a card called Minimax. This one here. Yeah, which you will notice now, like the radiator and the mufflers are different styles. Cool and yeah, system, it, it, right? It, yeah, it's the same one, two five, but you have a the different muffler and radiator, which helps to add more horsepower, which makes it faster. Right, overall. So this. Overall. The, the Micromax is um, how many cc's? It's 125, but well, let me tell you, it's, it's a 7 horsepower. 
Right. So let's start from the 50. The 50 is like a two horsepower. God, please, no! No! Mm -hmm. Then you go to 8. And then you go to 15. And then there's a 23 and a 30, but I don't have those over here. Colin yeah. has those over next door. He's not here okay. now. Okay. I, I get these because I matriculate them from 50 into these cards. So I can transition them and take them up and then they go off and race. Right, right. right so I, I keep a few of these cards. All of these cards are ra racing cards. They all race. As you know, they have the numbers on them. Right. Yeah, so they are all race cards. Wow. Yeah. They're popped in meat. <laughs> yeah, well, well, we have to utilize the space. Right, right. Alright, so come around, just helmets. Look come look at the helmets and the rest right. of the car. It's Safety here. first peeps, yeah, you don't know. So you can get a good view of everything. Yeah, so these are the helmets. Oh. Sorry, everything else. Right. So it's a good thing going, and they have the, the suits. Yeah. Neck brace. Well, a car has everything, right? <laughs> yeah, man. It's a good setup. It's a good setup. General work here, as you know. Yeah. You do so, all the repairs and. Trust me. So, 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 so overall, you know, you are the main turbine <laughs> for the whole operation. Well, one of them. Uh, it, it has several turbines. Right. On this wing. You control <laughs> yeah, yeah. this wing. Yeah, I control <laughs> this wing. Definitely. Yeah, man. Yeah. Um, I like, I like, I like what I'm seeing so far and. You know, as a car guy myself, yeah. even though it's go cars, it's still you know, parts and fixing and breaking and wear yes, and tear. Definitely. You know, I, I, um, it's a it's a real big task you're doing, and you know, big up on that. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Thank it's you very a, much, it's a pleasure um, talking to you. Respect for the little walk through. Yes, man. Anytime, man. All right. So we go we go check out the place. All right. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, respect. Yeah, peeps. So we are looking for the man himself. The legend himself, one of the great racers at Dover. Place nice, right on the coastline. I have the yacht club over there. So Zoom Zoom Ray himself, veteran in the business. Oh Edwin, boy. Too many years to mention. I think it will take us a good couple of years to go through you know, the trials and tribulations of motorsports from 1968 to 2018 was my 50th year. Right. Decided that I'd have hung up the, the gloves and the helmet. <laughs> but so you already um, answered one of my questions. Uh, from 1968, I started out on dirt bikes basically motocross that's in fact of all the different disciplines i've done rallying for kig drag racing circuit dover go-kart motocross is my love right well those you know it teaches the, the, the foundation of movement and when you get into a go-kart you, you can apply the, the theory you know it's called body english where you have to shift your body and it helps with the go-kart um handling and, all, handling that. and all that right but um yeah so it's, it's so unlike go-kart, you started with uh, motocross? Motocross, yeah. I did that for maybe about oh, 15 years from out here and then went to was invited up to race in um, Miami right. at Amelia Earhart Racetrack. Um, our jumps were like two foot high. When I went there, it was like two stories high. You know, I said to my dad, <laughs> there's no way I can jump off of that. And he said, we're here, you got to do it. So I ran like 14 out of 32 bikes and then in the mid-70s, we went over to England and raced there for 10 years. Um, the guy that I was racing against, he would win and I would win, you know, alternate. He, so it's always a battle. He focused and went and raced for Honda Factory two years. And I met um, the opposite sex and my bike got cobwebbed. I couldn't <laughs> see the bike in the garage. I had lost interest in the sport at that time and then returned back to Jamaica in 83, 84. Right. And then there's still some motocross, but go-karting was rearing its head again because it's been going on from 
Oh, way back in the 60s, 70s. So in 1993, you took a turn for the go kart. Yeah, when I came back. Yeah, um, decided out of Tilrun. There was a the Jamaica Karting Association headed by Abe Zadie, the late Abe Zadie. Um, had a decent track out of Tilrun. Um, it's where I learned the skill of karting. And then we had a big, in, a big event at the Heroes event um, in, at the National Stadium. That was something else. I mean, that blew your mind coming through the tunnel and then turning in to hear the. The roar, the roar of the, you know, the, 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 the stadium was <laughs> jam-packed, honestly. Nice. So that was a hell of experience. People think it's very smooth, but when you're driving a car, there's slabs of concrete. So each time you bounce, your helmet was shifting and, but it was good fun, you know. Right, right. And then we moved to out where we are here today. Um, there was some racing at the stadium. I wasn't involved in that on the outside. And then um, back in the 70s, I gather, there was a car track and a go-kart track here way back. This is the old runway, the old Palisades runway. And then um, in the sort of mid 90s, we rejuvenated out here. Mm -hmm. And then maybe about 10 years ago, we had a, a windfall, I would say, from, from the Almighty. <laughs> Our highway people, Buig, mm -hmm. who were doing the, the Mandeville West, East West. The gentleman became good friends of myself and he actually bought a cart and then he said, Peter, we need to redo the track and he brought up the CIK spec, which is quite fantastic. Um, the amount of trucks and mall and asphalt and it was done within a week. So right. we couldn't have asked for anything more. And this is where now the home of the Jamaica Karting Association is where we're building um, world-class drivers. Right, from age five to eight. Yes, we right. start them. Ian Donaldson is in charge of that area. Five-year-olds, five to about eight-year-olds in little 50cc carts. Right. Um, the helmets are sometimes bigger than the body. Um, but <laughs> yes, it's I quite, know that look. <laughs> yeah, quite amazing to see them. We, In fact, at last year when we were having competitive racing, or maybe the year before, they had more carts in the 50cc, which is good because it's growing the sport. Mm -hmm. um, then you had the mid-juniors and seniors and the old fogies like me that would run in what we call the bracket class which is a right. 59 second thereabouts you don't have to be um pumping iron at spartan health club you can come and run for fun you know right and now i'm um, basically into the mode of cart rental business with zoom karting as you right. can see zoom the line up here so well, um if you know when we're finished um talking here and catching up on history we can do a little walk through on you tell us the different classes. Sure, then. we can do that. All right, we can start with this one right here. All right, well, this is a, what we call a Rotax 125cc. It's what we, the club races. Comes with a battery. It's electric start and it's water cool. Right. Very modern. Um, right it's here. what they're running on the international scene. Um, it's just got a centrifugal clutch. There's mm -hmm. no gear shifting like the six-speed shifters that we do have. Right. Um, just gas and brake and away you go. We run these wide slick tires. The first couple laps, they're quite hard. They're they're very lethal, but as the laps go on, they get like become crazy glue. Right. And it's quite something. You the can slick, full slick. Yeah, full uh, slick. Maxis brand, great brand. Maxis, yes man. Oh, Maxis man. from good stuff, good stuff. Chad <laughs> So we get a good deal from them, and uh, we give them exposure here on race days. So this is what the latest is. It's a hash chassis made in Italy. Most of the better chassis come out of Italy. Right. And. Um, Okay, so peeps, this chassis was fabricated in Italy, so you know it's um, great stuff. What we're doing now is a little brake bleeding because we have a little issue with the brakes not um, fully right, engaging right. with the rotor. Mm -hmm. So we're just doing a little bleeding now and then we'll put the driver back out and see if he can break the track record. Awesome. What um, fluid do you use? Dot 3 or Dot 4? It varies. Dot 3 or Dot 4. Okay. Um, you know, Great, we're not getting... Because I know it's lower to the ground and uh, the, a lot of the heat in Jamaica Yeah, here. but we're not... We're lightweight. The right. cart with driver is about 350, depending 360, they're about. They're so about, okay. It's nothing, you know, that Dot 3 can't cope with, you know. Awesome, awesome. So, and it's the, the mechanism is pretty straightforward. I mean, from your car guy, you can see the, yes, um, the racking and... Yeah, the tie rod. <laughs> and tie, you know, it teaches anyone that wants to get into motor vehicle mechanics. Mm -hmm. Karting is, can teach you the rudiments. You know, you can adjust your camber, right. your, your toe with the tie rod ends. You know, you have your steering shaft. You can adjust the ride height of the, the cart. Oh, you so, can? Yeah, you I, can. Was, I was looking and saying, why I don't see any coilovers or anything no, no. like this. <laughs> well, the chassis is actually the coil spring. The chassis flexes. In oh, fact. it flexes? This axle, wow. if you were to put it on the ground and stand up on here, you'll see the wheels going like this. Oh, I did not they, know They that. flex. In fact, at the end of a race day, mm -hmm. where, where is more on the inside? So the, the, the chassis 
reflexes and so does the axle. Right. So, so it's all part of our suspension. But you can, depending on the weather, if it's a rain setup mm -hmm. and you need to have grip, what you do is you um, raise the chassis. So you, you, you basically lower the axle. Right. It raises the frame, puts more load higher up. You raise the seat. Right. Things like, you know, bars you take off, you loosen up the chassis so it flexes through right. the water. And I notice the different holes where you can move the, the height yeah, of the seat. Right. So, wow. Yeah. So, you, <laughs> it's all so quite you basically, a technical thing. Yeah. Right, right. There's a lot of chemistry to it. What's up? What's up? What are you doing? I'm good. What's your name? Nathan Swell. Hey Nathan, how are you doing? Everything alright? Yeah. This is your cart? Yeah. Nice. Let me have a look at it. Nice. So yo, Nathan, how old are you? I'm nine. Nine. I'm turning ten. You're going ten soon? Next month. And you're racing already? Yeah. Oh, so next month I'm you'll be... I'm not supposed to be in this cart right now. I'm supposed to be in it by um, 12. You're supposed to be where? I'm supposed to be in this car by I'm 12, but my dad gave me the bus. Oh, so you're you're in this way before you're at age? Yeah. Oh, nice, nice, nice. So, what do you think of the racing? Do you like it? Yeah, love it. You love it? Um, your father taught you how to race? Um, well, yeah. From, what, was... from what age would you say you, you liked racing? Um, from the first time I came out there. How old do you think you were? I was like seven. Seven, nice, nice. All right, Nathan, so do you know anything about your cart? Do you help to work on it? Um, not all the time. They don't really let me work on it since I'm a driver. Okay, okay. Ah, nice. But yo, this is a nice cart, bro. This is a nice cart. Um, do you have any medals or trophies so far? I have about 10. Trophies. Ten trophies and uh, like one medal. Ten trophies and one medal. Wow. How many different uh, classes did you enter in? Like, what age group did did they enter you in? Um. Well, the age group from five to like five to eight. Okay, five once, to eight. Once you're eight, you're supposed to be in a micro. But once you're five, you're supposed to be in a 50cc. 50cc, that's a starter's one, right? Yeah, and you're supposed to be 12 to drive this, and Minimax is 10 to 11. So is this a Minimax or a Micro? This is a Junior. Junior? Yeah. What cc is this one? Um, I think it's a 120. 120cc, wow. <laughs> Real nice bro, real nice. Nice talking to you. Yeah. Gonna put the turbo on it, right? Huh? Gonna put the turbo on it? No. <laughs> alright Nathan, big up yourself, alright? Yeah.
gonna go out and get a few laps around the track just to show you guys what it looks like on the track going around um, I think I'm gonna get one of the big boys the bad boys I'm gonna crank it up and thing stay tuned to see what Sun is setting, JK property, trying to pack up and get out of here before curfew, which um, is going to be tight. But I um, had a fun day, um, lots of young kids and elders enjoying the Zoom karting. And I um, really want to thank Tesla boys for giving us the exposure that we're longing for, you know, bringing motorsports to the masses. And big up to you guys yeah, appreciate and appreciate the time as well i and i i'd like to turn the tables and ask you how we enjoyed the, the few laps we gave you at the end um <laughs> to be honest the first couple of laps were like um warm up uh -huh. and then um you know i started talking to a few other persons on the truck you know asking them about the line and stuff and they started teaching that yo you gotta break before the apex and you know the rules of racing Correct. and stuff so even though it's go-karting you find that a lot of the real world um driving and racing applies to it so. exactly yeah, yeah man it was it was fun overall fun i was grinning yeah, the whole time <laughs> this is it this is what we're here for we're actually my motto is taking the need for speed off of the roads, making Jamaican roads safer. Right. And that's what we aim to do, you know. Right. I have to tell the, the, the drivers of the cars, when they get back into the street cars, please to obey, obey the, um, you know, the roads, roads the road, road signals and, and don't go over the white line for taking the corner at Harborview roundabout and all that. <laughs> they got to be legal now, but they're taking the need for speed out of them. We get up to about 40, 50 miles an hour down the street. Right. So and it's an inch <laughs> off the ground and it's it's great. It gives you a good adrenaline rush, you know. Right. You can release some stress over the, the week. So well you can link with Peter a karting experience, zoom karting. And remember to like and subscribe Tesla Boys Productions. Big up to them. Right, alright, respect, respect for that. What is the name on Instagram for the karting? Well, Peter Ray Karting Experience. Peter Ray Karting Experience. Alright, so go on over people and check it out. It's a great experience and I urge you to come on down and try it. Alright? Out.